They said this was a magician's bar. Mr. Gray, mm -hmm. what you do is not magic. I understand. It's natural for a dying leaf to be frightened by the autumn wind. Mm. It's not about pulling a rabbit out of your hat anymore. It's about pulling your heart out of your chest. <laughs> One of the things that really struck me looking at um, the, the stuff I saw from, from Kick-Ass and this, mm -hmm. um, they are such um, complete physical transformations. And yeah. when you're working like that, um, do you work from the outside in, or do you find things that you want to accentuate about the character that you find a way to externalize? Yeah, it, it, it works both ways. It can be, it can be either way. Sometimes it's outside and something, we just, like in, in the case of Wonderstone, the wig changed my character completely. And that happened to me on Lemony Snicket, where Brad Severling came into the, into the trailer when I had a character prepared. We were ready to shoot, and he went, what if we didn't do this character? What would you do? Like that, and I go, well, give me that piece of hair. Give me that this, give me that that, like that. And we'd throw something on, and he'd go, oh, I love that guy, who's that? And i go, <laughs> well, this isn't, uh, this isn't the guy we were planning. This is a nuclear uh, physicist who, uh, has just discovered the Higgs boson, you know, or whatever. And uh, so that's a, a wonderful way to work. I love, I love playing around with pieces and things. Wonderstone, when I got that wig on, I suddenly became this guy with a Christ complex who was a manipulator and, and so calm about it and so knowing and so, you know, felt above you and had to undermine your confidence in a way that was really creamy. <laughs> well, I love that these guys, and there's there's certainly a school of new magic that you're very specifically harpooning a bit here, and um, but there is a self seriousness about them that's almost hard to exaggerate. Yeah. So it felt like you, I love you didn't try to go over them. You just yeah. came in at a different way. I tried to be the next generation. <laughs> I tried to be. I tried to be the, okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mock them. I'm gonna be the next generation. What's where's it going? <laughs> you know. And I think the only thing left is for some for self mutilation. Now, neither of these are films that I feel like I can take my kids to this uh -huh, year, uh -huh. but I understand you, you wrote a kid's book this year. Yes, I did, yeah. It's can called, you tell me about it? It's called How Roland Rolls, and if you want to know about it, it's at uh, Roland at HowRolandRolls.com, and it's, uh, I'm going to self-publish, because that's just the world right now, and I think it's cool. And uh, it's going to be beautifully illustrated, and it's a story about a wave named Roland who's afraid that one day when he hits the beach, his life will be over. But when he gets deep, He's struck by the notion that he's not just a wave, he's the whole big wide ocean. So it's a Very metaphysical nice. children's book and it deals with a lot of serious things in a really fun way. And I think, you know, kids are gonna like it and parents are gonna go to bed feeling a little safer. I gotta say, man, it feels like you're having a lot of fun this year. I and am, man. Uh, I'm excited about both of these coming out. Thanks. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit hitfix.com.